Welcome back to Boring Reviews. Boring Land. Oh, Come just on. kidding. Blasphemer. Oh, Hello, my. Boring Review Nation. Kind of pointless. We know all things. All right, welcome back to Boring Reviews. Joey there. Nick here. And it has come to this. I don't know why I was thinking it was going to be a part one and a part two, but people that pitch me aren't stupid and aren't super greedy. We are looking at what today, Jody. Twilight Breaking Dawn pitch meeting. The one that you guys all said we have to check out. So I'm hoping that it's the best of the best, Nick. I'm hoping so too. When we reacted to Twilight, I thought that'd be a fun one to react to it. Easy to make fun of. Yeah. There was a lot of requests to do the other ones. And my initial thought was, no, we're not going to do the other ones. No one's going to care about that. They can't be as good. And man, was I wrong. I'm so glad I didn't listen to myself. And I listened to you guys in the request section because these have been fantastic. Even Eclipse, the one I was mentioning before we reacted to, I like, oh, this is my least favorite film. So if, for some reason, the pitch meeting is not going to be good. It was absolutely hilarious. No. This one's got to be fantastic because, no offense, this book was, I'm so sorry, was crap. And the Garbage. movies were crap. And I was really, really frustrated because Twilight and Hunger Games and so many series that I read, it's always the last book that can't I land just it. can't, yes. It's a great it's, idea. You have a great concept. You don't know how to go, where it, to go with It's it. almost like the writer just keeps writing and writing and writing because they don't know how to end it. And like with each series, I was just like so frustrated at the end. And this one was so dumb. I'm sorry. Jacob, and if, if I'm like blowing this for anybody and like what's that spoiler word? alert spoiler, spoiling it like sorry like you should have watched it but jacob <laughs> like being imprinted so on bella and edward's baby and the Ooh, fact that the baby so will grow to the age that jacob is and then stop aging what and then she's half vampire half human and then they did like this weird cgi in the movie and it was just weird and then this whole fake battle crap yeah, yeah, the it, whole it, battle. It just, well that's what i see it happening so let's just avoid this whole thing and just yeah like, chop his head it off was right just now. so whatever the book was dumb the movie is dumb i'm so sorry so i can see all these plot holes like i'm so excited for what he has to say isn't it isn't it <laughs> i could I, i'm telling you right now they're so we're not really going to have a real battle scene? Know, yes. No, we're just going to show what it would look like, but it's not really going to happen. <laughs> Sorry, Siri. Because we're not really going to have this in scene because that's what all the other movies do. We're going to be very clever. Something like, I'm telling you, or, I've not seen this, but I'm telling you, something like, like that. Barely an inconvenience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Isn't that going to be a problem? <laughs> yeah, super easy. <laughs> exactly. All right, I'm uh, so excited. Let's just or, get straight to or this. Or it's going to be, ooh, grown men imprinting on the young babies is tight. Yeah. <laughs> 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 if I'm right about any of these, I swear I've not seen this yet. Oh, I hope he says that. It's tight. <laughs> it's tight. All right. As we watch this, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be aware of our next uploaded videos. It helps us out a lot. Thanks for joining us on this journey and let us know what you want us to check out next as far as pitch meeting goes. Yeah, we need a new pitch meeting after this because like these have been so good. We need it. We need it. Here we go. So, you have a Twilight movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. Amazing final book, final movie. It's all very exciting. Well, actually, I thought we could squeeze two movies out of the final book. Really? Can we do that? Harry Potter did it. Yeah, that's true. There was a lot going on in the final Harry Potter book, though. Is there enough content in the final Twilight book to make two movies? No. Not really, no. So, so why would we? Well, because of money. <laughs> oh, money! That's the thing that I like! It sure is, sir. So what's gonna happen it in part sure one is. of this thing? Not much. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, basically, <laughs> Edward and Bella are gonna get married, so that's gonna take about 30 40 minutes oh incredibly slow pace yes. yeah 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 is there <laughs> any conflict or drama or anything like that not really no well at a certain point jacob is going to come out of the woods as a surprise for bella well why didn't he just show up to the wedding like a normal person what a weirdo oh you have no idea he's going to get real weird real soon uh oh anyway bella tells him that her and edward plan on getting you know intimate before she even becomes a vampire and so jacob gets really mad right isn't that incredibly dangerous doesn't that go against everything edward's been saying about trying to protect Bella. Yeah, but we need something in this movie, so characters are just gonna kind of yes. do stuff. And why can't they just wait until after she's turned into a vampire? Well, because they need to go on their honeymoon, right? And she doesn't want to spend that time in pain turning into a vampire. Well, people can have their honeymoon whenever they want. It doesn't have to be immediately after the wedding. Well, we're gonna have it be immediately after the wedding, because otherwise there's literally no story here. Well, okay then. So anyway, they go to this private <laughs> island. Okay, the next 40 minutes is gonna be them You're on their honeymoon, just kind of, you know, being on a honeymoon. They play a lot of mm -hmm. chess. 
Oh, really, really, really I don't remember stressing his first it thin movie. here. Oh, oh yeah. so thin, sir. The thinnest. It's wow, 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 wow. Anyway, so then Bella's gonna end up getting pregnant. <laughs> what? Isn't Edward dead? He is, yeah. Aren't all his bodily fluids venom? They are venomous, yeah, for sure. I just, it feels That's like a great I, point. It feels Never like that doesn't that. make sense. Well, we're gonna pretend like it makes sense, because otherwise there's literally no story here. All right, do what you gotta do, man. So anyway, then this baby inside Bella starts growing super fast, and it's killing her. I mean, she's wasting away. There's nothing but a skeleton left. Oh, very spooky. She has a skeleton inside of her. Well, yeah, I mean, everybody does. <laughs> oh, can you imagine? Very spooky. Anyway, so it really seems like this baby's gonna kill Bella before it's even born, but then they give her some blood in a sippy straw, and she's like, yum, yum, yum. What? Oh, also, the werewolves are mad now, because they think this baby's gonna be a threat to them, so they want to kill it. Why would they think that? Well, because new vampires have a hard time controlling their thirst. Okay, they're aware that Bella's also gonna be turned into a vampire, right? They are, yeah, but that's different. How? Well, she's the main character. Oh, right, okay. Anyways, so eventually <laughs> Edward has to give Bella a C-section <laughs> using his teeth for some reason, and he injects her with his venom, but it really looks like she's dead. Oh, bummer. And Jacob is so mad he decides to kill the baby, but as soon as he makes eye contact with it, he's like, oh, what? Yeah, he immediately puts <laughs> on a newborn. He's like, oh, are we gonna kiss right now? <laughs> I don't like that. Oh, don't worry, sir. It's not weird at all, because yeah. Jacob's going to help raise the child before getting romantically involved with it. I mean, you know that that's somehow worse, right? You know that. Okay, okay, yeah. sir, but you have, you have to remember. What? Money. Oh, yeah, money. Okay, yeah, no, no, yeah, I'm back. <laughs> okay. Okay, good. So the wolf man will raise the baby and then sleep with it, and our teenage audience will pay to come watch that. Okay, keep going. Well, okay, so then Bella's gonna turn into a vampire, and then we cut to credits. Very exciting. And then as a mid credit scene, we're gonna have the Volturi vampires be like, oh, we're gonna be in the next movie. Watch out. We literally keep ending movies that way. <laughs> we watch do, out. but this time it's true. Oh, well, great. So what happens in part two? Well, Bella's a vampire now, and she's going to run around the woods with Edward looking to hunt. How do you think we'll be able to improve those terrible running effects we've been doing? No need, sir. People will have already paid for their tickets, and it's the last movie. That's a good point. Why bother? Let's save some money. <laughs> but then Bella's going <laughs> to smell a human, and she's going to have to fight her newborn vampire instincts to try and not kill this guy. Oh, is that going to be hard for her to do? Actually, it's going to be super no. easy. Barely an inconvenience. Barely oh, really? Yeah, she's just she's able to <laughs> repress those urges immediately. Didn't we say it takes most vampires? Vampires decades to do that. We did, yeah, but she's the main character, so she's special. That makes sense. So then she's gonna meet her that baby for the first time, which I figure we could do entirely in CGI. Yeah, it sounds like that might haunt people's dreams a little bit. You know, there's definitely <laughs> a risk of that, but I still think we should go ahead and just just make this thing on a computer, see what happens. Yeah, Works why? for me. So anyway, then the Volturi are gonna get word that this baby exists, and they're gonna think that it's something called an immortal child. What's an immortal child? It's like a vampire baby that's really powerful. We're gonna be pretty vague about it, but they want it dead for sure. Is it an immortal child? It's not, no. So then the Cullens go around the world and <laughs> gather not, up a no. bunch of vampire friends, and all these people have different superpowers. Oh, they do? They do, yeah. There's one with the power of electricity, there's one with elemental control powers. This is just gonna straight up be an X-Men movie now, because there's not really anywhere else for the story to go. Oh, suddenly becoming X-Men is tight. So all these vampires <laughs> come and train with the Cullens, and then it turns out that Bella has the power Edward to shield tight. people. That's why Edward was never able I to read her mind. Line. But Alice was able to see her future, and Jasper was able to affect her mood. Seriously. Please don't think about any of this too much. Oh, okay, my bad. <laughs> so then there's gonna be this big showdown in the snow between the Volturi and the good vampires go. and some werewolves. And how does that go? Well, the main Volturi guy, he cuts Carlisle's head off. Oh, he does? Yeah, and this big giant fight breaks out. Jasper gets decapitated. A bunch of Volturi lose their heads, too. One of the X-Men creates this big hole in the earth. A bunch of them fall <laughs> the into X lava. Hey, Robbie this movie just get good? And then Edward and Bella, they take down the main Volturi guy and they cut his head off too and Bella goes to set it on fire. I think this movie just got good. And then it turns out it was all just a vision that Alice was showing the main Volturi guy. So, you know, none of it, none of it, none of it happened. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> his heart's broken. Oh, what gosh. are we doing here, man? Money. Oh, right, money. Okay, yeah, no, I love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't we say that Alice wasn't time. able to see visions with werewolves around? Please, please, please don't think about this too oh much. Oh, I keep thinking about things. I need to not do that. Yeah, and so Bella and <laughs> Edward live happily that. ever after, and Jacob gets to hook up with the child he helped raise. Money, 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 money. Yeah. So what do you think? <laughs> well, you know, I think the Twilight books have definitely spawned as many movies as they possibly can, and it's probably best if nothing else comes of them. I don't see how anything else could come of them, sir. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
fan fiction. Oh gosh. I always I always look forward to what joke they're gonna have last and how they're gonna be like, oh, this would never happen in real life. Yeah. Throws you that curveball mm -hmm. for crying out loud. Mm -hmm. I'm curious how much money these movies made. I'm gonna look that up. What'd you think about that pitch meeting? It was so good. He was so right. Like it is the worst movie. Not or the worst book, and not enough to make into two movies. The first movie was boring. It's all their wedding and her pregnancy. Like it's just and he pulls out all the potholes. All the balls. Now they did in the book and the movie barely bring up that like Edward's like I didn't think I could have children because I'm a vampire and blah blah blah. But then it's like this thing and a few people have had these kids and one they can meet and talk to and it's just anyway ridiculous. I never thought about him being a vampire. How did he have Spawn? Seriously. So the first one on a thirty-seven million dollar budget made four hundred million dollars. The second one on a fifty million budget made seven hundred million dollars holy cow I'm trying to find the next one um that is absolutely insane uh, that's a lot of money eclipse on a 68 million budget only made 10 times its budget only. almost 700 million again only. and then breaking dawn part uh, one let's see 120 that cost a lot of money wow. for part one made 700 million like the other ones but so I that one did not get as much back it's still like it times cost nine so much though because they had the cgi they made her all skinny and like withering away oh. and then the last one 138 and it made 800 million that was the top grossing of all of them they all made almost from you know like seven to ten times the budget it's crazy it's three crazy. billion dollars combined it, box office dollars i mean it was absolutely incre incredible hopefully stephanie meyer got like a huge percentage of that royalties Right? Because her name definitely goes through the mud with uh, the style and all that kind of stuff. But which man, is so, so funny much because money. when it first came out, it was so popular. Like she was so popular, and then I think once people kind of realized, like, you really break it down. Was it captivating and exciting? Because vampire books were out, but they weren't popular. This is what made vampire books and movies and all that stuff well, popular. It goes into the mainstream. And it, yes. And then it was super popular. Like, vampires are super popular for a while, and they started dying super off because it's too much. The biggest problem I have is some of the things that she portrays, which is another thing that, like, Fifty Shades of Grey is fan fiction. And I'll, I've never read Fifty Shades of Grey. But a lot of people have issues with it because they talk about it's a lot about, like, violence and manipulation and control. And... It was interesting as in Twilight, you see a lot of that. Like people say that with like Edward, you know, he's very controlling and stuff. He's like watching her while she sleeps, whatever. But I feel like it is weird the fact that you have like this older teenager like fall in love with this baby and like she grows up like insanely fast until she's his age and now they're dating. Like, I don't know. It just, it very brings weird. them some weird things. Like, what are you trying to teach kids here? I remember watching, I had no, I don't know if I had any idea it was coming, or maybe you had told me after the last one, because I asked you what's going on, but when you told me or what I watched, I couldn't believe, what? Like, his reaction. And he's like, oh, we can't do Yeah, we you can't, can't do, do that. Money, Seriously. money, money, okay. And that was awesome, they kept going back to that, because you don't really see the guy who's listening to the pitch um, have that kind of reaction, but he's just like, no, we no. can't do it. No. But, again... These movies made so much. When you make something for the mainstream, when the mainstream takes it and wants more, then I, I, I feel like you start making decisions on what mainstream wants. Yeah. And what mainstream wants, I'm sorry. Mainstream movies are mostly dumb. They don't make sense. They're colorful. They have a lot of action. They, lot, so they have CGI, especially nowadays. It's not about the art. It's not about a great story. Very few times do you have the mainstream liking something that's absolutely fantastic. Like take Top Gun Maverick, for example. Huge hit this year. I've watched a bunch of times. So much of that story's plot has been taken from other movies, for crying out loud. Mm -hmm. But it's done in such a, a great way. And yes, there's mainstream elements to it, but it's its its own movie for the most part. Stuff like this, it's just let's just make get as much butts in the seats and make them have something to talk about. Or but, give them the, the romance, even though it's lame. Yeah. Give them the main characters, even though it's lame. And it's just, I feel like that is what ruins But the crazy the thing film. is that, for the most part, for books, the content, most of the time, has to be good for people to like it. Yeah. But people like this. 
And this was originally the book. But whenever anything goes viral, when things get in that mainstream, then it doesn't make a lot of sense. Yeah. It really, really doesn't. But absolutely crazy, that ending. That ending was an interesting choice for a movie. But I love how they tore it apart. I love how he's so sad. He's like, yes, this is getting good. Just a vision. <laughs> Didn't happen. All right. But I mean, it's just it, it's just crazy. Okay, these things they make a lot of money. And do these people care? Do the producers of these movies care at all when they made Hanover Fist? No, no, they don't. We appreciate you watching our reactions to the pitch meetings for the Twilight Saga. We reacted now to all four of them. Let us know what you think about them in the comment section. Please tell us what to react to next. We need a new pitch meeting. What is good? Let us know. And until next time. Au revoir.